Hey everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome back to Aquavita Woodworks. Today I'm going to be going over how I design these on the computer. This is an epoxy resin map that I poured with blue epoxy and carved into pine. I'm not going to be going over that process on building it, I'm just going to be going over the digital process on how I actually designed it and pulled it into my CAD program. It's super easy and free, so if you're interested in learning how to do that, stick around. Let's get into it. So to start off, you gotta pick which lake you're gonna do. I'm gonna pick a random one. Uh, let's see, I live over here, so we'll pick one nearby. Here's one, this is Lake Warner in North Hadley, Massachusetts. So once you find the lake, you need to remember where this is on the map, because now we have to go to a separate site, which is called snazzymaps.com. So this is snazzymaps.com. It's a really useful site for this type of application. When you're on this site, go up to the top left here and click on Explore Styles and go through that list that it gives you until you find this style that I'm on right now where all the water is black and there's no other features. So if you're good with geography, you can use this map to find the lake that you're looking for. I know I'm looking for Massachusetts, which I know is here, and I can use reference points like this big reservoir to find where I'm going. Plus I just happen to know the area where I live. So I know my lake is right here. So once you find the lake, you're going to use the snippet tool to trace the outline of this and take a screenshot of it and copy that or save it and then pull it into Inkscape. Unfortunately, the way I'm using the screen recorder right now, I can't show you me using the snippet tool for some reason not very tech savvy, so hopefully you know how to do that yourself, but just save this image somehow and we're gonna pull it into Inkscape. Okay, so I am now in Inkscape and this is a free program and go ahead and download that if you don't already have it. So once you're in Inkscape and you have your map image traced using the snippet tool, you can click paste or import it, however you saved it. I just copied mine from the snippet tool and it should look something like this depending on how you traced it. So once that's in Inkscape, I like to click on this little lock up here and it makes sure that my dimensions stay the same when I go this way. And Control Z is how to go undo, that's important to do. So here I'm gonna pull it this way when I drag, it'll make it bigger or smaller and keep the ratio the same. So once I have that highlighted, I'm gonna come up here to bit or trace bitmap and the brightness threshold you can change, but since this is black on white really, uh, you're not gonna need it very high. So 4.5 or 0.45 will do. So I'm gonna click apply and there's my lake. I can delete the original one I had and now I'm free to manipulate this. I like to use the eraser tool to start and I bring in, I zoom in and I erase the little outliers that I know that my bits are too big to get anyway. So just erase them. And once you have it cleaned up to your liking, you can click on the node editor. And this allows you to see all the nodes. So like down here in the corner, kind of unnecessary. So I can, I can delete these three. And I know that that'll be fine. And just double check that there's not a crazy amount of nodes everywhere. Usually where you're erasing is gonna be the issues. Like that's probably an unnecessary group right there and it just smooths out your edges. So now that we have this, we are good to go and pull it into Carbide Create. Okay, once you're in Carbide Create, it's pretty easy if you're familiar with the program from here. Just import your image, however you saved it. Here's my image. I'm going to group it so I can manipulate it and I can make it fit to whatever size stock I have. I believe this is 11 and a quarter by 21 inches, which is normally what I do flags for. Uh, so we'll just kind of experiment like this. Again, I'm not going to show you me actually physically making this. I'm just showing you how to pull it in here and carve it basically. So there's my map. We'll put some text. Lake Warner. Done. And now we're good to, to carve this. So tool paths, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. It's pretty easy. I'm not going to show you how to assign tool paths because you should know how to do that already. But that's how you pull these maps in. All right, good luck. And don't forget to like and subscribe.